Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Ken Chrysler here and welcome to FLH. And this is going to be a good one and the rumors are true. We knew Daniel had a new woman in his life. And yeah, this woman is not a nice woman. Um, so yeah, and he thinks he's in love, but I, this is one woman you do not want to trust. She is highly involved in a gang called the KSD. That's a long history with th that gang. And, of course, they are starting to uh, come out of the woodwork yet again. Uh, well, I'll talk about them a little bit later. Um, but we knew he had a new girlfriend. And we saw this woman before, briefly. We saw this woman uh, at one of the rumbles that we had on 22. And oh my goodness. Really? We're going to have a dance here? You got to be kidding me. You absolutely got to be kidding me here. And this guy doesn't know what he's in for. He thinks he's brilliant because he's brought another woman in. But he's not as smart as he thinks he is. My name is Daniel the D. And the D stands for Demented. As you can see, I have found a new lady in my life. And this lady is more important than any lady I've ever met. Because she's a gangster. And she's in a gang. And she's ruthless. So you know what that means? I gotta get a little bit mean. That's right, I gotta get tough on you all. And you all have mistreated me. So now, it's my turn to mistreat you. There is three types of idiots that I'm tired of. The idiots in the chat, the idiots in the crowd, and the idiot on commentary. I want you all to know this. I'm the best. I've always been the best. And you all have doubted me since day one. Ever since I found Miss Watson... My confidence has skyrocketed and I have became a better man. Now my fan club, who's still around, who absolutely adores me, even made a multiple choice test to honor me. It's a test about facts about me that I give civilians so they can take the test and see how good of grade they get on facts about myself. But I was, you know, looking through the test to analyze all the questions, to make sure the questions were good. And the first question that I came across was, why am I better than the idiot chat, the idiot crowd, and the idiot on commentary? Is it A, because I'm better looking? Is it B, because I got more money than they do? Is it C, because I'm more charismatic? Or is it D, I'm in better shape than they are? And I, I was looking at the answers. I was looking at all the answers that were an option. And I just couldn't help but not be able to figure it out. So I went back to the person who created the test. And I said, I think we need to add another letter. The letter is E. And they were like, what do I put down for E? And I said, all of the above, because I am the best. And I am tired of being your doormat. The D doesn't stand for doormat. The D stands for demented now. And I am going to do whatever I want. And if you all have a problem with it, so be it. But be jealous, because I am the best. Yeah, and, they, and he can run his mouth all he wants about us. She's already bringing out the worst in him. She has a history of that, and you know, this um, mentally is not gonna, not gonna tolerate this. He is absolutely not gonna tolerate this. This has already went crazy, and we ha we haven't even started a match yet. And the Smiths are here, and just to give you a little bit of history, the um, KSD and the Smiths have a long history. Um. There's certain Smiths, you know, Mentally's a Smith, Esther's a Smith. There's certain Smiths that are bad. And, um, 
These two are not. They're innocent as can be, and they're very successful. But uh, not uh, not the whole family's like that. But we've already seen Daniel run his mouth tonight, and we knew that was coming. And of course, I got brought up as well. That's nice. That's really nice. You know what? Um, I can add you with Guan to the lawsuits. How about that? Oh my goodness. I just cannot believe this. This man had the audacity to, you know, call out everyone. He said they doubted him since day one. <laughs> and look, uh, Esther and Mentally, of course they're cousins if you didn't know. Just in case you didn't know. All my life, I thought the D stood for dummy, but the D actually stands for dull, deficient, disconnected, deceitful, defective, defrauding, deluded, desperate, despised, detracting, devious, disgraceful, disgusting, dork. You must have fell and hit your head if you think she loves you. She's here to avenge her fallen KSD brothers and sisters. The queen of the KSD, they call her. And you just got her foot in the door. And she's going to open up a big can of worms. As the manager, I won't let her bring war here. I will not let that conflict start again. That conflict hasn't been around since 2011. And my relatives aren't coming back. And neither is her and her people. Before I address the Smiths, in my ring, I want the chat to type in the letter lowercase g because that's what you'll always be. I'm an uppercase g. I'm a real gangster. I know you all think you're gangsters because you listen to rap music, but you're not. The KSD is the real gangsters, and you will learn to respect us. I love Daniel. I would never use him. I would never hurt him. What you need to understand, Smith, is until your bloodline has bled out, I'm never gonna stop. All these years you've fought many battles. We hit underground. We regrouped. And our numbers are larger than before. Your whole family will pay for the fallen KSD. I'll start with your dorky, skinny cousin first. So we're going to be kicking this off with um, uh, Jez Watson versus Esther here. And um, yeah, it's going to be a good one. You got a Smith versus a KSD, and that rivalry goes back, I mean, we're talking decades. Decades. We're talking Esther and uh, Mentally's grandfather started this rivalry, which he's not a good guy, and he he's no longer with us, but um, they he started the rivalry that was a brutal rivalry between the two gangs. And of AJ and... Uh, um, and his daughters um, kind of got away from that life. AJ didn't want anything to do with his family. To give you a little bit of a history lesson, uh, AJ, who's the father of Esther, um, he wanted nothing to do with um, that lifestyle that his brothers had, that his dad had, that his cousins had. The whole family was corrupt. And uh, he kind of, you know, took mentally in and um, Esther in. And they're, they're basically the only good Smiths, the three of them. And, of course, Esther's sister as well. But, yeah, it's just, it is, it was an all-out gang war between the KSD and the Smiths. And, um, of course, all the KSD is bad. But they didn't start it. They didn't start it. It was Esther and Mentally's grandfather. So, I mean, this is still going on now. The last thing we need on this brand is a, a turf war. 
okay, between the Smiths and the KSD. And of course, Minley's not going to stand for it, and Esther's not either, because they were raised better than that. Um, and they've seen the destruction that it can cause their family, because I mean, they, you, if you look at certain members of their family, like Minley's dad was a victim of the KSD, his grandfather another victim of the uh, KSD, which his grandfather was a, another story, but um, the last thing we want is the KSD to arrive here and then the, we get the bad Smiths in here. That is the last thing we need, especially after the lights went off last week. So, but we're kicking it off with Esther trying to take care of business here for her cousin. And Daniel is in over his head. He wants to play gangster, and he is not one. So, and I'm going to add him to, you know, I'm suing Guan. If you if you did not hear, I after Guan attacked me last week, I have gotten with my lawyers. I am suing Guan. So it is official. I'm taking him to court. After what he did, I, I suffered a concussion from the last episode. And uh oh. Esther going after Jez. Or Jezebel. That, yeah, that's her actual name. Isn't that like a, maybe a, um, you know, a red flag? And look here. Drops Esther there. And look at Esther. And just to give you a little more of a backstory on the Smiths. Um, you notice that Esther doesn't really carry the name. Mentally doesn't either. They go by different names, but they are uh, Smiths by their last name. But they they don't use that name because of the the infamy behind it. So their their family have some infamous people, and the last thing we need is another turf war. I I mean, especially we don't know who's behind Guan. Somebody sent him last week. And it, for all we know, it could be Miss Watson over here. And look here. Oh my goodness. Esther in trouble here. And nice, uh, nice break up there by Esther getting out of that. Submission that could have been really deadly. Yeah. And Esther is going to fly and flies right into. The, the queen of the KSD. Now, we don't know who's all involved. Uh, this is a game that, you know, went away for years. Because they just, you know, after um, all the other evil that came about, they kind of fled. Uh, I mean, we're talking about a couple decades. Of course, they laid low. Uh, but the last thing we need is them back again. And you all have fortunately not met them. And you don't want to meet them. Most of the, most of the people have been wiped out. The only the one that you all may know uh, is Streak. He was a part of that game. So. Esther's dizzy. Um, that, move, that move can backfire. Make you a little bit dizzy. dizzy. And, you know, Esther... Is definitely not against her. She is a complete nerd. You saw what, you know, what uh, mass or, you know, goofy thing she had on her face uh, coming into this matchup. She's just like mentally, and they are both uh, very intelligent. 
but very goofy at the same time. Oh man, Esther bending some fingers back, doing whatever she can, and this is a battle. This is a battle. And look at the the kicks. And look at this dirty tac tactic, uh, stepping on the hands of Esther, and now going for the pin. And a kick out there. Oh, what a nice move. Oh, my goodness. She just fights so dirty. And now we're, we're I mean, we're going to see Daniel in the main event tonight. He's going to be teaming with Guan and the Beige Cowboy. Uh, to face off with the Warriors that we saw last week. You saw the Warriors last week, didn't you? Oh, are they so great. And Esther trying to get a pin here. It's a two out of three falls, and this is going to be a battle. Oh my goodness. Esther spinning Miss Watson around. It's going to make Esther dizzy. I, I mean, she's goofy. She's goofy. She's brilliant, but she's goofy. And that's another kick out. And Esther decides not to go for it. May have been a smart move by her. And look, oh man, did a flip there. Everyone calls Esther Little Esther because she is the smallest of the Smiths and probably the smallest in the women's division. Um, and look there. Oh my goodness. This is, and she's really good, and she's struggling here. She's struggling against this game banner. And no luck there. Look at this. Oh, man. This is going to be a good one. Oh, good tactic there by Esther. She's trying to reach for the ropes, but she can't. This is just... Mentally may want to call this off. This is getting a little out of hand. Some brutal punches. This is very frustrating watching. 
Look, she kept... Somebody get in there. Somebody do something. There we go. Stepping on Esther's head. My goodness. And you can just feel the hatred from the KSD. They cannot stand the Smiths. Blame them for everything. All over uh, uh, their grandfather's actions that they have nothing to do with. Weren't even alive when it happened. And, well, yeah. N nice one. You did a really good job there. You're about as smart as your boyfriend. And look at Esther. And a good move there. And Esther's, she's definitely taking some damage. She's moving very slowly, but look here. And misses there. That was a bad miss. You don't want to miss that move. <sighs> and more strikes to the face. And we're still trying to figure out who cut the power last week. Um, it could have been her. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. And look at Esther here. All right. What a great move there by Esther Jack. And she got a point. So it is a tie and we have a fight here. This is a one great fight between these two. A brutal fight. And a kick out there by Esther. <laughs> Esther trying to build some momentum and those knees just went up right to the ribs. Once again, more strikes to the face. Jezebel Watson is definitely making a debut here. We briefly saw her in a 22 Rumble. We didn't have an idea of who she was. But now it is clear that she is with the KSD. And we don't know how big they are now. But she is one of the head honchos. Look at that. Oh man, what a brutal move there. Wow. Through Esther, basically. And there you go. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. And not a good start for mentally here. So now we got to deal with these two and their egos. And things are going to get out of hand. This is just the beginning. And mentally is very frustrated. He should have them both arrested. He should, that's what he should have them. In handcuffs. Both of them. Anyway, let's get on with our second match of the night. <sighs> Just so frustrating. Daniel running his mouth as usual. I think me, the crowd... Yeah, how about this? Me, the crowd, and the chat versus him at WrestleMania. We'll all take him on. How about that? <laughs> And here comes the one, the only. We saw him last week uh, make a very surprising alliance. And he seems uh, to have put his differences to the side. And here comes the blue neck. And he's wearing an MW, MW shirt. Which, um, yeah. That's the, that's the team. That's the team. And he's going to be in action tonight. I don't know against who, who he's going to be fighting. But, and we'll talk about more of the history between the KSD and Smiths, but there's a lot of fishy stuff going on. Obviously, the power was cut. Guan couldn't have done it all by himself last week, 
So we know somebody else is involved. The question is who? And who is Blue Deck going to be facing? Uh-oh. What in the world? Oh my goodness. And we, yeah, we knew this was going to happen. We knew that he returned at the Rumble on 22, and he is back again. And it is D. Lee Chango. This is one dangerous man, one psychotic man. And we're going to get an extreme rules from these two. Two out of three falls. Whew. It's going to be fire. So, yeah. Be on the edge of your seat. Because this is going to be a good one. There, but like I said, Guan attacked last week. Obviously, he couldn't have cut the power. Somebody else helped him. We've either seen them or we haven't seen them. There's all kinds of suspects. Basically, the only two people that aren't suspects is me and Newsom and Guan. Guan's, obviously, he didn't do it, but he knows who did it. Um, and, of course, I got dropped on my head last week. And look at D. Lee here. Oh, man, this is going to be deadly. This is going to be extremely deadly. We are going to extreme rules for this one. And he's ready to go. These are two brutes. Two former world champions. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to get ugly. But anyway, yeah, Guan dropped me on my head. I have called my lawyers. We're suing him. I had a concussion because of Guan. So, you know, I'm suing him. And I'm thinking about suing Daniel while we're at it. He called me an idiot. Okay? Clearly, he's a hypocrite. Because he is one. And everyone, including the crowd, the chat, they all believe the same thing I believe. That he is one. Because he is. And look at Dealey here. Slamming the blue neck. And to get into more of the history, of course, Blue Neck's father, who is also a troublemaker, is highly involved with the Smiths. Um, so, basically, Blue Neck's family, with the exception of him and Malcolm, Gory's definitely trouble. We already knew, knew that one. Um, people like A.K. Chopper is another one, highly involved with the Smiths. So... Like I said, I don't know if things are going to get out of hand again. Some of the Smiths were on here before, I mean, bef way before 14, and they got fired because they're troublemakers. Some of them are. Um, and, of course, some of the KSD was here. And, of course, they didn't make it out. But that was way before you all knew about any of this. And... We know that some of the Smiths can return because some of them are still alive. And we know that perhaps there is a low-level functioning KSD that's taking place here. And we don't know if Guan, Guan could be involved. We don't know. Could be anybody involved with that. So, it, it's always stress. It's nothing but stress here. And now somebody's grabbing a ball bat. And this is why I enjoy the other brands. Has anybody on the other brands dropped me on my head? No. First episode I'm on here, I get dropped on my head. And choke slammed. And thrown out of the ring. So there's always drama on this brand.
Oh, landed on the steps. That's going to leave a mark. And now ribs right into the steps. And look at Dealey with the clotheslines. Punishing the blue neck. And a kick out there. Yeah, and it's good to see Blue Knack finally bury the hatchet with Mentally. Of course, they um, Mentally's dad being part of the Smith gang um, got killed. And the whole history behind that was Blue Neck's dad uh, raised mentally, treated him more of a, like a son than, you know, his own son. And that caused so many problems for the longest time between the two. But it looks like they finally um, buried that hatchet, which is good. It was, I mean, it went on for years. Their hatred for, well, his hatred for mentally. And look here. Throwing Dealey here. Oh, by the way, this is a number one contender. Forgot to mention that. Um, if if Blue Neck wins, he's going for the U.S. title. If Dealey wins, he's going for the IC. So. Oh my goodness, Dealey's so brutal. And look at the roll up. And a kick out there. And Dealey with another shot with that bat. And another kick out. Getting out of that one. Dealey is just on about on this man's level. I think they're about, I mean, both of them have achieved a lot. They're former world champions, um, and they're incredible talent. And this, to be going for the titles that they're going for, you know, just does not do them both justice. But unfortunately, the Cowboy is the number one contender, the worst number one contender of all time may I say. Um, unfortunately, he's the number one contender. Of course, we're going to see him in action tonight. Our um, main event is going to be the MW versus the Cowboy, Daniel, and Guan. So that's going to be a weird team up. 
So it's basically the MW versus Low Lifes. That that's the that's their stable name. That's what I'm gonna call them, the Low Lifes. And look here. Oh man, another kick out by Dealey. Blue Net cannot believe it. Just Dealey doing a really good job here. And look here. Broad kick connects. That time he got the point. This is Falls Count Anywhere, too. Yeah, look at this. Look at how it's done. Wow, what a move. But not good enough for a three. And look, oh my goodness, Steely throwing him out of the ring. Man, that was brutal. And oh man, when you thought it couldn't get worse. Look at that power bomb. Just, wow. And Steely showing that he is neck and neck with this man. But only one can win. They both have one point each. Man, what a slam that was. And going for another pin. And a kick out there. Oh my goodness, Steely just got punched in the throat. Oh man, and he got a good welcoming present once he left. And once again, going for this, I believe it's a submission. I don't like it. And look at the blue neck here. And the broad kick connects. Wow, what a kick to the head. And that's going to finish it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just a brilliant match by these two. They put on a show. 
I mean, that was brutal. We knew it was going to be brutal, and we knew it was going to come down to the end on this one. And I'm telling you, um, this guy is, hopefully he can make a big comeback. He hasn't been great for a while, but that was a big victory tonight. And he will get a shot at a title. The U.S. title. And here we go. Oh, oh, look there. It's the Three Stooges. It's the Three Stooges, everyone. The Three Dummies. That's who it is. And, um... Oh, yes. Here we go. This new stable who has been put in place. The men that have been here since day one. Um, and tonight we are going to see Noosen, Gorgi, and Lurts in action. And it's good to see. I, this is going to be a great showdown. Two out of three falls. Um, tornado tag between these two teams. And hopefully this faction can be impressive tonight. Um, they haven't had a lot of practice together. But these three, well, I would say two out of three of them are really good. Oh, uh, you didn't hear that, Gorgi. You can't hear me from here, you know. Um, but the other three are can also be good as well. It just depends. They're all going to have to work together to win this. And I see this team is way better. But we'll see how it all plays out here. And... Of course, the Blue Neck's not a part of this team. He's already been in a match tonight. But we have a lot of talent. A lot of talent for our main event. And good luck to the MW. May they save us from these three morons. I know what we could call the other three. They could get MW shirts but say Moron Warriors. That's what they can call themselves. But anyway, this is our main event. So here we go. Falls count anywhere. Good to start off things with a nice choke slam to Daniel. Let's get him, boys. Of course, Newson will be meeting the Beige Cowboy. At a, a Backlash World Championship match. We've already announced that. Uh, it's also going to be Renee versus um, the Black Rose. And uh, Ted Led versus Blue Neck. So that's official. So Ted Led, I know he's scared. He loves that U.S. title. <laughs> and there's a shot he may lose it. We'll see, though. I mean, he go, he he'll do anything for that title. You talk about a patriot. Ted Led is an absolute patriot. And look here already. Almost got a pin there. The two weakest links are, is Daniel and Gorgi. So it's all about who performs well on that that level. The other the other four are, are great, whether I want to admit it or not. They can all fight. But it's between Daniel and Gorgi who decides the end of this. And, I mean, who's the most impressive? I know Gorgi's trying to be a face, but, you know, it's hard when you have a history of arrogance. And a kick out there. Of course, Newsom wiped the floor with Guan last week. 
which was wonderful to see. And uh, But it didn't matter because I still got a concussion from last week. But don't worry, my lawyers will be in contact with the child of silence. So, and he won't get out of it. Just because he can't, you know, you know, just because... Just because he's crazy doesn't mean he's going to get away from this. My lawyers will be contacting him soon. So, I'm going to get a big um, big pile of cash. That's the goal here. And look at Lurtz. Nice body slam there. And not even, couldn't even get to the one because the Cowboy was all over it. <sighs> and the question is, who helped Guan last week? That is the big question that I am trying to figure out. There could be multiple people involved. Power play would be a great candidate for maybe someone that could get involved again because those two have a history. Um, there's all kinds of villains that could be teaming up or it could be the Beige Cowboy. It could be Daniel. It could be his new girlfriend who's such a nice person. Or I mean, I don't know who it is, but something's telling me that Something's going on behind the scenes, and we're, we're, it's not visible enough to tell what it is. But something's definitely going down. There is a plot against management, as usual. And, oh man, Guan just went into that pole. And look at Lurtz here. What a choke slam. Man, I could watch that all day long. Seeing Daniel get choke slammed. And the Newsom almost pinned the Cowboy. But it did not work. <sighs> that would have been a big momentum boost. And what a nice dive by Gorgie. And Gorgie oh, almost had a point. I mean, Lurtz, my bad. That MW shirt's getting me confused. This has just been a dogfight between these, th uh, these two teams. Oh, man. Nice move by Gorgie. And the Cowboy getting a kendo. And look at Daniel here. Oh, oh man. He's really trying to rub it in. It, oh, my goodness. This is not looking good. And a kick out there. And Gorgie, thank goodness he breaks that pin up. If you guys were wondering, the refs are gone. Um, yeah. Long story. Let's just say that. Let's just sh say I'm not allowed to get into detail of why the refs were gone. But let's just say there was a moonshine bust. So, yeah. A little bit of Al Capone 
going on between the refs. Um, oh, man. And look here. The kick out there. Once again, we got another kick out. Neither team has scored. Both teams have been extremely resilient. Look here and kick out there by Guan. Somebody's got to score here. Look here. Oh my goodness. And Daniel scores a point on Lurts. <sighs> Gorgi cannot get there in time. Still steps got in the way. <sighs> Not a good start for the MW. <sighs> Newson can't get a point. People keep getting in the way. And look at that. Yeah, pay Daniel, pay. Everybody's going after Newsom. Look at this. Guan here. <sighs> My goodness. And Lurt's there to break up the pin. This has just been a fight. Oh my goodness, Newsom flying. He connected a little bit, but not good enough to do any real damage. Look at Guan here. Oh man, so close. Yeah, he's looking why, why? Well, I'll tell you why, because you're horrible. That's why. And then, oh my goodness, he's going for another choke slam. Newsom breaks that up. Steps are everywhere. This has been a very stressful fight for the MW. Look at Guan, he's just throwing people. Look, and look at the beige cowboy. Gorgi kicks out at the last minute there, second there. This is our main event. And all the... Um, all the beige and Guan and Daniel need is one more point and they win this. Of course, we got one more episode after this before Backlash. And look, oh, nice takedown by Newsom. Gorgie, what a nice, another nice tackle. A very nice move there. Oh man, Beige Cowboy throwing Lurts into the barricade. My goodness. 
People are bleeding. Weapons are everywhere. And oh, Guan, yeah, look at Newsom here. Nice counter there. The MW need to figure out a way to get a point here. Look at Gorgie, what a nice move. Now going after Guan. Trying to keep him away. You need to keep Guan away from everyone. Just need to take him down. And no luck with that pin. Beige Cowboy won it again. Cannot get a break from that man. Newsom trying to get a pin here. No luck. My goodness. Oh, man. And look here. Stunner on Gorgie. And the Beige Cowboy going for a pin. Oh, goodness gracious. You have got to be kidding me. The MW falls. And these three ridiculous morons win. We'll see you next time. The Beige Cowboy gets lucky tonight. Him and his goofy friends. I cannot believe this. Mentally needs to do something.